Sent in by the Charleston Paranormal Team, when they ask, can you see me, they get a direct response to the question. Can you see me? What was that? We recovered traces of the individual question in the woods, and how, in the forest, we have... On a repéré des traces de l'individu aux questions dans les bois et comment euh, sur la forêt That is so creepy. Oh, okay, a few weeks ago, I was just about to sit down to watch the newest episode of Destination Fear when my sister texted me this. She said a 26 minutes and 54 seconds ah! endearing term caught a tall figure and they are not addressing it and it's driving me nuts. Please watch it so we can talk about it. So I immediately queued up the episode. I started to watch it. And when I got to the 26 minute mark, what I saw creeped me out so bad. This is the slowed down video that I took on my phone. So this is a screen grab from the exact moment when you can see the full figure peeking out from behind the door. That has to be at least seven feet tall and it quickly peeks in and out. There's no one else in that building. It's just the four crew members. They each have a camera and you can see all of them filming each other, freaking out, running away from the loud noise that they just heard. And yeah, they didn't see it in person because they were kind of preoccupied by the terrifying noise they just heard and busy running away. So they didn't catch it in person. And they also didn't catch it in editing because they have so many hours of footage to go through that a split second of a figure sometimes gets missed. The reason this shadow figure in particular creeped me out as opposed to all the other shadow figures I've seen caught on footage, this location they're at, they're investigating claims of a mimic entity. A mimic, just like the name suggests, is supposedly a supernatural entity that mimics the sounds and voices of the living in order to trick and frighten you. At the very same location on the same night, one of the investigators had been using a piece of equipment called a music box. This music box is motion activated, so it only plays the music when something walks close enough to it to trigger the sound. When used in paranormal investigating, it looks something like this. Walk in front of the music box. One of their investigators, Tanner, had been using this piece of equipment earlier in the night, but at this point, later on in the night, that piece of equipment had been boxed up and put away in their gear room. And now they're underground in the tunnel system below the facility when they hear this. When they heard that, they ran back up to the gear room to make sure it was put away and it was still in the box where they had left it. 
And again, they are completely alone. They're the only four people in this whole abandoned building and no one else is there. So did they catch solid evidence of a mimic entity? Let me know what you think and what you would do if you saw this. Caught this on the lollipop camera in our son's room. Did you see it? Let's take a closer look. You can even hear our phones go off from the notification. Slow mo. Alright guys, so I work at this uh, old theater and I've been hearing a noise. And there's not supposed to be anybody here, so just double checking, but I wanted to film it. Just in case. What is that? Hold on, let me get a better look. Oh shit. Did you see it? Watch again. Oh shit. Perhaps the creepiest capture happens when Bailey is doing a virtual tour of the theater. It's backstage, can't see it very well, but um... Holy shit. Watch again, as a shadow figure seems to peek out from around a corner. It was her, but at that time they couldn't do DNA because it wasn't that advanced yet. We had a memorial service. Let's see if you have nyctophobia. I'm going to show you five photos. Try your best to make it through all five. Let's start the test. How does this dark hole make you feel? How about walking home at night alone? Walking down this hallway with no flashlight? Looking out of the window and seeing this? 
or looking out at night to see this figure. So how did you do? Did you make it through all five? If not, then you could have nyctophobia, which is the fear of the night or darkness. Let me know if you have nyctophobia in the comments below, and remember to hit the plus sign and follow me to see if you can make it through the next phobia test. I can hear you even without the walkie talkie uh, over. Um, I think so. Um, can I go now? Over. This isn't good.